Hey, welcome back. I thought we'd try another integral today. This one from MIT 2020, problem number 16. We have the integral x times one minus x to the 2020 dx. So what I'm gonna do for this one is we're gonna try two methods, sort of. The second method's gonna be a little weird, but we'll get to, we'll just do the straightforward thing first. For the first method, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make a u substitution. So I'm gonna call my u equal to one minus x. And then just rearranging this to solve for x, we'll find that x equals one minus u. Then from here, we'll take our derivative. So we're gonna find dx equals minus du. Okay, and we'll make this substitution. So let's see what happens when we do this. We're gonna have, for our x value, we're gonna have a one minus u out front. And then here we're gonna have u to the 2020 and a minus du. And then just because this minus is, I don't like this minus over here, so what I'm gonna do, we'll just make this a plus and change the sign over here. So then just multiplying this out, what we're gonna see is we're gonna have u to the 2021 minus u to the 2020. And this is actually gonna be quite easy because we're just gonna use the power rule on this. All right, so integrating, we're gonna have u to the 2022 over 2022 minus, here we're gonna have u to the 2021 over 2021. We just need the back substitute now, here and here. So for our final solution on this first method, we're gonna have, substituting in our u, we'll have one minus x to the 2020 over 2022 minus one minus x to the 2021 over 2021 plus c. Okay, now on to method two, and like I said, I'm gonna do something a little unusual. I'm actually gonna change the problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna integrate this from zero to one. So it's kind of a second method, not really, but we're gonna do it this way. And before I really get into the second method, let's just evaluate what we found here with these bounds and see what this is gonna be. If we did it, as if we did our first method using these bounds, what would happen? So let's just evaluate this from zero to one. When we plug a one into one minus x, we get a zero. So that whole part is just gonna zero out. So the first part's gonna be zero, then we're gonna have minus, then we plug a zero in. 1 to the 2022 is just going to be 1. Then we're going to have this 2022. Uh, put parentheses just so I don't mess up the sign. Then we're going to have a minus. And then here, again, we're going to have 1 to the, putting a 0 in here, we're going to have 1 to the 2021 over 2021. This minus is going to flip our sign. So we're going to have 1 over 2021 minus 1 over 2022. But just to clean this up, what we'll do is we'll get a common denominator. So if we multiply, 2022 here, we're gonna have 2022 minus 2021 over 2021 times 2022. Okay, and there's not enough space. I'm gonna bring the answer over in this direction. So 2022 minus 2021 is gonna be one. And then we're just gonna keep our denominator 2021 times 2022. And that's gonna be the solution with the bound. Okay, now moving on to method two. Just gonna keep track of what we found in method one over here. So what I noticed with this is, with these bounds, this is set up perfectly to use the beta function. And so let's look at that and let's look at how that's gonna work. Okay, we have our formula for the beta function over here on the right. And we just wanna notice how similar this is to our integral, right? I mean, the, we get the exact bounds. We have the x, we have the one minus x. So we're set up perfectly. It's just a matter of what's this z1 and z2 gonna be for an exponent. And then this, the way we're gonna express our solution might be unfamiliar because it's in terms of the gamma function. This is actually pretty easy to calculate in the integer case because then we can relate it directly to the factorial. We know how to calculate the factorial, so then we should be able to get a nice solution. So let's see how this is gonna work. So for our, the thing we really need though is we need these Z, the z1 and z2 value right here, and that's just from the exponent. So what I can do is, our exponent here is a one. Well, if I write that, if I write my z1 as equal to two, two minus one gets us the one, so this is gonna be the first value we need. And for 2020, this value can be written as 2021 minus one. So that's gonna make our Z2 value equal to 2021. And that's all we need to calculate the solution, right? Because it's all in terms of Z1 and Z2. So we're gonna need gamma of Z1, which is two. Then a gamma of Z2 is gonna be gamma of 2021. Okay, and then Z1 plus Z2, that's gonna be 2023. So we're gonna to wanna to find the gamma of 2023. 
I didn't mention it, but for the gamma function, there is a, a formula in terms of an integral. It's just that we don't need it here. And then when you have that other formula, it'll allow you to calculate non-integer values and do some other stuff. But so you'll see for this case, we only need the integer values. So we can just use this formula and turn this all into factorials. So then for each of these, so like for gamma of two, it's gonna be n minus one. So it's the same thing as one factorial here. And then for 2021, plugging that in here, we're gonna be looking for 2020 factorial. And then 2023 is just gonna be 2022 factorial. Well, one factorial is just one. We're not worried about that. Let's just bring over our 2020 factorial, but I'm gonna rewrite my 2022 as, my 2022 factorial is 2022 times 2021 times 2020 factorial. Well, this is gonna cancel with this. Love that one on top. And then you'll notice that's exactly what we found in method number one. So that's it. Thought it was interesting to do it in two different ways and use the beta function, which I don't, I've only done a couple of videos on that. Um, I think I've done some things on the gamma function. I have a quiz on the gamma function. So I'll try to leave links in the description for whatever I have. I can't remember what I have, but I'll, I'll try to link to it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.